hello everyone good evening welcome back once again first of all thank you for subscribing my channel this is a small announcement on the new aws batch actually i'm planning to start from 20th november so let me quickly share the details for the same i'll go to my blog streamers.cloud under the blogs you can find the latest blog which will give you all the information related to this batch so in this training i'm planning to cover uh, aws sysops administrator Okay, and then uh, see, uh, AWS DevOps in uh, real time, which is going to start from 20th November morning 9.30 to 11 IST. So it's going to be one and a half hour session. And you can join the initial few demo sessions uh, by clicking this link mentioned over here. So, uh, and we'll review the course content in a bit. Okay, and let me share a couple of more details. Uh, it's going to be one hour, 15 minutes to one hour, uh, 30 minute session and go for goes for two months. Okay, Monday to Saturday. Roughly, I would need 40 to 45 sessions to cover off the entire program. And the prerequisites, as I mentioned, Windows or Linux or any other infrastructure knowledge is an added advantage. Uh, virtualization or Azure or any any sort of other cloud experience will be a value add for this course. Fees, as I mentioned over here, is going to be 15,000 if you go with the two installments and 13,000 for a single payment. It's okay. And you can join the current batch WhatsApp group, which I mentioned here, so that you can collaborate with the other uh, students which are part of this training program. You can also refer a couple of demos, what I mentioned over here, okay, which I recorded in the previous session. So let me quickly share the course content for the same. In this training, I'm planning to cover, as I mentioned, administration and uh, architect uh, associate plus DevOps. So architect associate, I'm not mentioning as explicitly because uh, part of that we will discuss a couple of a couple of solutions and a couple of scenarios that is part of your solution designing and implementation. Right. So we'll basically start with the introduction with cloud and then cloud networking. And when it comes to cloud networking, what are the things that we're going to discuss within the AWS uh, VPC or AWS networking that we mentioned here briefly and then compute. After that, high availability and scalable solutions within the AWS, how we're going to deploy manage. In terms of day-to-day -day operations, how you will use the systems manager and perform your day-to-day -day operations within the AWS that we're going to cover off. And we talk about AWS SC storage, okay, which is going to be past storage uh, available within the AWS, how you will manage and perform your day-to-day -day operations in terms of managing the AWS storage that we will cover off here, along with the backup and recovery operations. Okay. Then we'll move on to past services. We'll start with the data, AWS PaaS databases. And after that, AWS PaaS application. When I say a PaaS application, we're going to talk about Lambda functions. Okay, I'll, I think yeah, it was not mentioned over here. I'll, 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 we'll see if it's in the bottom. Then we'll see in terms of data operations, how you will monitor and report or troubleshoot the issues within the AWS using CloudWatch that we're going to cover off here. Then we'll talk about security, how you use the inbuilt AWS security system called IAM, and in terms of day-to-day, -day, how you will manage the different day-to-day -day operations within the IAM that we're going to cover up. Then we'll move on to microservices world, what is Docker, what is uh, container, and then how you will deploy ECS and EKS uh, Kubernetes services within the AWS at EKS cluster management. ECS is no longer being used, right? so EKS is going to use, and we will uh, do a few scenarios related to EKS. Then we'll talk about migration services, how you will migrate uh, infrastructure from on-premise to AWS. Okay, that can be a database service, it can be server servers or data, how you will migrate from on-premise that we are going to cover up over here. Then and we'll talk about developer tools. When I say developer tools, your AWS code, commit code, build code, deploy, how you will use uh, these tools and set up the CACD within the AWS that we're going to cover off. Along with that, we'll talk about uh, Terraform, cloud formation, and your Packer and other automation tools, how you will use them and deploy things inside the AWS that we will discuss over here. And then, at the end, what are the day to day activities that you're going to perform in various uh, areas? I'll say if you have a three years of experience into AWS, what things are, what kind of day to day activities, what kind of troubleshooting, what kind of uh, uh, deployments that you will perform, that we're going to discuss at the end. So, this overall program will take approximately 40 to 45 days to cover off, which is going to start from 20th number november you guys can use the link i mentioned over here for the free demo sessions and we'll see you on the demo session thank you guys good day